How's it going guys? This is Joshua from Motiva Online Instructors and today I'm going to be talking about finding the minimum length of the crease C using the Raysurian method. And this method is very, very interesting and very intellectually and logically reasoning. Now the method, like always, I'm, I'm going to go straight to the diagram. So let's zoom out a little bit. Now let's go to this diagram. Notice that the only difference between this one and the other videos is that I have this dash orange line from point E straight across. Now we have two angles here and these two angles are congruent because these two triangles are congruent, right? So I'm going to use the fact that these two angles are congruent and this new dash line to find the minimum length. Okay, now notice what will be the sign of these two triangles, I mean two angles together. Well, sign is opposite over hypotenuse. Now, what will be the opposite? Well, the opposite will be this dashed line, but what is the length of this line? The length of that line is just the length of the paper, which is 8.5. So the opposite will be 8.5. And what is the hypotenuse? Well, the hypotenuse of this new triangle which is a right angle triangle will be y right it's the longest length so it's 8.5 divided by y okay now let's use some trigonometry identities what is sine of 2 theta well sine of 2 theta is proven that it's equal to 2 sine of theta cosine of theta okay now this implies that that equality holds because of uh, trans the transverse it says that this equality holds then this equality holds so 2 sine of theta times cosine of theta equals 8.5 divided by y now I'm going to use this fact and another interesting fact what is the tangent of theta well the tangent of theta is now we're going to concentrate on the big triangle is opposite which is x over adjacent, which is y again, but it, the adjacent is of, of this triangle, not of the new one, of the, of the old one. So tangent of theta equals x over y. And this is what we're going to use to find the minimum crease. Okay. Now, so let's start with this information. I want to change this uh, two sine of theta, cosine of theta into tangent. How can I do that? Well, what is tangent? Tangent is, is equal to what? Sine over cosine, right? So I'm going to use this fact to change this ter in terms of tangent, okay? So we have 2. Now we need a cosine in the denominator. But to multiply, divide by cosine, I have to multiply by cosine. So I'm going to divide by cosine here. But I have to multiply by cosine. So in the right side, it's going to be cosine squared. Okay. And that again is equal to 8.5 over y. Now we have tangent here. But... What is cosine squared equal to? Well, 2 tangent theta times cosine squared equals 8.5 divided by y. Now, what is cosine squared? Cosine squared can be written as what? 1 over secant squared. So this implies that 2 tangent of theta divided by secant squared of theta equals 8.5 over y okay now what is secant squared but well, by identities again secant squared is what it's 1 plus tangent squared so this implies 2 tangent of theta over 1 plus tangent squared of theta equals 8.5 over y now what is tangent well tangent was 
x over y. So let's substitute that into this new equation. So we have 2 times x over y divided by 1 plus x over y squared equals 8.5 over y. Now, let's simplify this. So in the bottom, we have what? We have, on the top, we have 2x over y. In the bottom, we have to find a common denominator, which will be y squared. So this is y squared plus x squared over y squared equals 8.5 over y. Now, two fractions dividing, we multiply by the reciprocal. And what happens when we multiply by the reciprocal? Well, one of the y's is going to cancel out. So we have 2x over y times y squared over x squared plus y squared. Again, equals 8.5 over y. Now, this y squared is going to cancel with, one of the, with this y. So we're going to have then that 2x times y over x squared plus y squared equals 8.5 over y. But what can I do with this y? We can multiply it, right? And if we multiply this y, this equality, what happens? Well, we cross multiply. So we have here 2x squared, 2xy squared equals 8.5 times x squared plus y squared. Okay? Now, what is x squared plus y squared related to? Well, by Pythagorean theorem, we know that x squared plus y squared equals c squared. So we can substitute that into the equation. So we know that x squared plus y, equal, uh, y squared equals c squared. So we have 2x y squared equals 8.5 c squared. Okay, but now what is y squared? Well, the same relationship holds. So we can write 2x. Um, so a y a squared, we sub, uh, subtract c squared minus x squared equals 8.5 times c squared. Okay, now we have this. Now again, I'm going to write everything in terms of c which is our crease is the minimum crease so let's go straight forward with that we distribute so we have 2x c squared minus 2x cubed equals what equals 8.5 c squared now Let's move this to the let's move this to the left side, let's move this to the right side. So we have 2x c squared equals my I mean minus 8.5 c squared equals 2x cubed. Now we can factorize the c squared. C squared times 2x minus 8.5 equals 2x cubed. Now we divide and we have the c squared equals 2x cubed divided by 2x minus 8.5, which then gives us that c is equal to the square root of 2x cubed divided by 2x minus 8.5. And that is our answer, guys. Thanks again for watching. Please, if you like this video, subscribe, share it with your friends, and I hope you enjoy this.